Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery, and today I am in Premiere Plus and my Sonnet Embroidery, and it's, I'm only in the basic modules, so you don't have to have the, uh, the fancy stuff to do this, and today we're adding the felting needles to an existing design. I want to remind you that there are other great sites on YouTube for our software. So take a look at these sites and check them out. And remember to like and subscribe to this channel uh, to keep these types of videos coming. Um, if you want a video on something specific, please leave it in the comments and let me know. And I'll try to oblige and make a video for you. So here we go. We're going to start out with a blank canvas. And I'm just going to use the 120 by 120 hoop for now. And I'm going to insert a regular design. I'm going to go down to my Sonet folder. And I am going to go into my samples folder and I moved all the samples from my Premiere Plus 2 into my Sonet. And I am going to go into Premiere Plus 2 Embroidery and into the Stitch 2 folder to Animals. And those of you that know me, I usually do the this design, except I generally change the colors over to the Wire Fox Terrier. And basically all you have to do to change it into a felting design is go over here, double click, click on felting needle, and say OK. Do the next one. Click on felting needle. Do OK. Click on felting needle. Do OK. And then it's going to do felting. And I know that I often tell people that when I'm stitching out, um, you can either use roving or you can use. Um, you know, felt sheets and just keep layering and trimming as, as needed. Um, if you don't get the desired look that you want, just go ahead and repeat the color number until you get the desired look. Okay. And that's all you got to do. Remember that the felt is going to be on the top. Um, you're going to be looking underneath to see what the design looks like and see if you've achieved the, the felting that you want. And basically that's it. Um, let me show you what I've done. Here's the design that I did. Um, I did the under, uh, I did the felting. Um, it's the same Airedale design. I just changed and um, added a few more spots and whatnot in the digitizing section. And then I flipped it back up and rehooped it. And using the design positioning app on my phone, I was able to add a frame to the design and the little hearts. Okay, so that is the how I felted a actual embroidery design. Okay. Thanks for listening. Remember to give me a thumbs up or whatever and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Thanks.